This is MMA Outbreak. All right, time to get rolling with our Odds Breaker segment. Let me introduce both of our guests today. First is our guest, the host of MMA Weekly Radio, Damon Martin. Damon, welcome back to the Odds Breaker Show. Thanks for having me as always. And our second guest today on the Odds Breaker segment is my good friend, Frank Trigg. Frank, thanks for helping me out today and being on the show. Of course, I'm always there for you, bud. No worries. All right, guys, you guys are both familiar how the show works, but for those who are not, our sponsored sportsbook, BetDSI.com, has donated a $5,000 bankroll to both Damon and Frank, and they could uh, bet $500 either on the favorite or the underdog. I've selected three fights today. We're going to get started first. UFC 145, the main event's going to be Jones versus Evans, takes place in Atlanta, Georgia, but we're going to go on to another featured fight from that card. It's going to be a bantamweight scrap. Miguel Torres versus Michael McDonald. We're going to start off with Damon Martin first. Damon, I'm going to open the line minus 205 for Miguel Torres. The comeback's going to be plus 155 on Michael McDonald. What are your thoughts and what are your bet? Uh, give me Michael McDonald all day in this fight. You know, the kid is, is really a star. I think he's going to be the future in the bantamweight division. He's really aggressive on his feet, Do, you know, dominant striking, uh, dynamic striking at that. And the new Miguel Torres scares me a little bit. I mean, Miguel has kind of gotten in his own head a little bit, training with Faraz Zahabi. I think he's going to eventually mold himself into a better fighter because of that. I just don't think he's there right now. His last few fights, he's been more tentative. Uh, he's lost some of his aggression. And I know that aggression got him in trouble in fights like Brian Bowl but I just think it's it's gone away so far from what Miguel was as a fighter that it's almost confusing him a little bit. So I like Michael McDonald in this fight. I'll take him as the underdog all day long. All right, Damon, very confident and sounding in uh, Michael McDonald. You're going to take the underdog plus 155. It's going to be 500 to win 775. Let's throw it over to Frank Trigg. Frank, what are your thoughts on this fight? Man, I can disagree more with Damon on this one. I do agree that, that the Donald is a good fighter, that he will be the future of the man away, but he's just not a guy that, that's going to be able to beat uh, uh, Miguel, especially after Miguel being fired, finally coming back. He's got a point to prove that he needs to be in this man away. He's got a point to prove that he has improved his style technique by staying up to the tri star and getting his stuff together, not only mentally, but also physically. And really, if you look at the record, Miguel's history is just so much stronger. He's had so many more fights. Both guys get about a 50% submission rate when it comes to the fights. But to be honest with you, Miguel just submits cleaner. He submits better. He's got more technique when he does it. He's a lot more violent, even when he's coming back. A lot of guys are going to be like, oh, well, Miguel's going to take Miguel down. And most guys are going to go, oh, Miguel's going to be on his back, and then, then the whole fight's really going to start at that point. The problem is, once you put Miguel on his back, he throws vicious elbows from his back. He knows how to back fist from his back. He's got a, a style that when we train together, he kept me away from him. He's probably almost going berserk from his back, and in the middle of it, he's looking for submissions the whole time. I'm leaving this one alone because I don't think there's going to be enough money in the world for me to lay down on Miguel and make any kind of money on it. And I just don't think McDonald's got the style right now to beat to be Torres. It's not going to happen. Okay, so your take would be on the show. Miguel Torres, 1,025 to win uh, 500, sounds like, correct? Correct. Okay, so you guys split on this fight. And I think the public's going to pretty much be split too, but we'll see how this unfolds here in April. Well, that's it for another episode of MMA Odds Breakers. I want to thank our special guests on the Odds Breaker segment, Frank Trigg and Damon Martin. Great job as always, guys. Thanks for joining us. And you can look for the odds that Nick broke right here on the show to start popping up at the sportsbook throughout the week. And for all the latest updates on the MMA Oddsbreaker show, make sure you check out our Twitter page, at MMA Oddsbreaker. For Miguel Literati, I'm Nick Kalika saying until next time, enjoy the fights.